This is a review of the Roscoe Light Pad Loop. This is the light that we're using right now to shoot this video on a GH2. The light is right in front of me. It's about two feet away. And um, as you can see with the second camera, it's basically all set up on one, you know, rig. It comes with its own rails and it allows you to put it on and take it off and it stays wrapped around the light the whole time. So if you're shooting uh, on the go interviews and you need to light people in odd situations and fill in the face with a nice soft glow because it comes from underneath the lens as well as over the lens. As you can see, it fills in underneath the hat quite well. The Roscoe Light Pad Loop has some uh, nice advantages to a traditional over the camera light. It's a softer fill. Uh, this one actually has a dimmer on it and so I can vary the amount of light filling in. Uh, I of course have it, it's a daylight balance because it's an LED based light and I have it uh, set up with a, a daylight balance so the light coming in behind me is uh, the same color temperature as the light in front of me. Uh, so with that let's take a look at the technical specifics of the Roscoe light pad loop. Here we are behind the light pad loop. You can see I have a it comes with a double A battery holder that I have going through the dimmer. Uh, there's an on off switch on the light and the dimmer allows you to have uh, different light levels. Um, I prefer to actually have this built in and I have it built in on other lights like the Z96 light I'm using here has the dimmer built into the light as well as your on off. And this runs on standard Sony infolithium batteries. Uh, this does not. This runs on um, 12 volts. So a 12 volt power supply or if you have uh, a DTAP, you can feed it with that. The dimmer is an add-on. It's not built into the unit. So you can take it out and just have it full on the whole time or you can dim it with this dimmer. The system comes with rails. Now there's an L bracket here. You can see just at the top. There's this L bracket that holds the light on with magnets, so it comes off quite easily. And then there's this little safety cable here so that it doesn't crash onto the floor. Uh, this can slide forward or backward to adapt to different lenses you have on here. I have a 20 millimeter prime, so it's quite small. And then the camera can also slide forward or backward on here. If you have a longer lens or you know more hardware in front of the camera, it, the system actually comes with a second set of rails which are uh, considerably longer, which would give you more throw. Uh, if you want to have a microphone, in addition to this, you need some sort of riser to get the microphone up over the light because the light, as we mentioned, does go above the lens and below the lens. So the, the whole harness does need to work together as one complete system. Um, if you don't have a 12 volt source to feed this, you know, you're going to need a battery. Um, this battery pack, luckily I can feed it right on the back of the camera plate so it will all come off and go on together. I would have liked to have seen a dimmer here, on off dimmer, as opposed to using what, you know, is nice, but is, it's kind of chunky when it comes to just dimming and it's got a uh, uh, and it backlit indicator is to your light level and then you have to use another extension cord which I'm not even going to bother unwrapping to plug into the light and then you've got this rather long cable you know it's it's nice to have this dimming capability but it's a really roundabout way to go about it uh, I feel I would like to have seen the dimmer actually built into the light since you've got an on off switch here anyway here you can see uh, the distance this is the minimum distance uh, between the Roscoe light and my uh, 20 millimeter prime. Uh, if I turn this off, you can see in front of it a little easier. Uh, you can raise and lower this to an extent. And like I said, it's just on magnets. So you can pull it off and do what you need to do. Of course, the, uh, the power supply always stays on there. So I don't even have to see what I'm doing behind there. It just goes on and stays on there quite nicely. All right, well, this is the Roscoe Light Pad Loop package. It all comes uh, encased in this kit. I have it out right now. This is where the Light Pad Loop goes. This is the holder for the Light Pad Loop battery. Actually, it's a whole, uh, this is the battery case it comes with. Uh, I'm using another battery case that I actually have with for other uh, needs, and it has its own power switch on here. And it comes with a harness that you can 
um, screw this into the bottom of the light panel kit, but it wouldn't fit with the um, mount that I have now. But that's that. This is a 12 volt adapter. This would, you know, basically extend the 12 volt and plug into it and also use the right angle for better clearance. Oops, here's your AC adapter and gives you the 12 volt. Here are uh, some adapters for worldwide voltages. Here are the two long rails that I had spoke of longer. Uh, they're not threaded, so you cannot use both set of rails together for a really long throw. And then this is an additional um, magnet plate that is longer than the uh, magnet plate that I have on there. And one key addition to this is you have this uh, very uh, comprehensive uh, kit of filters. Roscoe, of course, is uh, best known for their lighting gels, and uh, these are no exception. You've got various pinks, purples in here, and then there's a whole second package with various uh, NDs, neutral density filters in here in grays. Um, I guess you use these if you're not using the dimmer and you need to dock it, knock it down a stop or more. Um, so these are masks, they call them, and here you can see quarter CTO, half CTO, three quarter, minus screen, white diffusion, cosmetic highlight, cosmetic rouge, triangles, half circles, uh, light bulbs, stars, slits. So you've got different ways of knocking it down and creating creative light effects if you want as well. And all of this comes in this case which zips, comes with a shoulder strap and everything. So it's uh, very easy to transport or uh, if you wanted to, you could leave it on the camera as I do. I'll show you that in a moment. Here you can see the light panel loop in sort of a run and gun situation. Again, I have a very small prime on here, so it's all the way back with the smallest rails. But um, it's not that difficult to uh, handhold, even with this tiny little camera. This is just the uh, Panasonic GH2. Um, and then, of course, I've got audio coming in from above. So the camera, so the microphone is lifted over top of the light. So you need some sort of riser for most cameras. The uh, power supply is on the back. Here. It comes with a mount that I could screw in right here, but then there's not enough room for the electronics. It's just not a very well thought out situation. The other thing that bothers me is that there's an on off switch, but at the same point, this could have been a dial, you know, uh, uh, a dimmer dial as well. And there could be mounts for batteries on the light itself, as opposed to having to have the power supply somewhere else. Now, this works out quite well. Like I said, the, the camera is mounted um, on its own uh, riser here. And I like the fact that it's, it's a very stable riser. The mount for this uh, is, is quite solid and very grippy. I like that as well. And it allows me to put, use this single plate and then I can just easily drop it in and it's good to go in uh, stationary setup as well. The panel loop comes with both color correction gels and it comes with these diffusion and special effects gels. Now this says remove protective layer before use. I'm not going to do that because it's just a review unit and I'm not really going to be using these for production. You mount these with an innovative magnetic holder. So if I just wanted to put this in here, I just put it around the holder and then slide it into place and the magnets hold it. I, you can even mount two of them if you like, the diffusion and the color correction, you can stack them. The magnet will hold all of them right in place, you know, I guess you could rotate it, but it doesn't really make much of a difference, I, I don't think. And to take them out, they just come right off. This has got magnets built into it, you can't really see it, but tiny little magnets in the edge here. And it slides into place and the magnets hold it into place. I like, I like magnets. Magnets are very cool and they make things go very quickly. You don't have to, no thumb screws, no twiddling. It's just take it out, put it in, good to go. And changing the color or just removing the color is like that. Same for neutral density if you're going just full blast. And here's a close up of the two magnets that are in here. And when you twist the rail, when you twist the outer ring, it comes out. Put your filter in here. And then you just slide the inner ring in, and then when the magnets line up, it slides in the it locks into place. Easy to open and put back. 
So this has been my review of the Roscoe LightPad Loop. It's a very unique product and one that really does do what it sets out to do. It provides a wonderful fill light for the face, under hats, uh, soft and forgiving, gives the face a nice glow, even a little sparkle in the eye for those who need it. And in a well-equipped lighting arsenal, it's a tool that you know really needs to be had because there's really not any other way with a top camera light or side lighting to do with this what a ring light can do that's why you'll find ring lights in most professional still photography light kits and this provides the same functionality for video this is anthony barocas and this has been my review of the roscoe light pad loop